what's up guys it's bark with yet another obscure mics for you and today in the studio i have with me the sure v p six four a a the vp six four a which is noise coming a long handled uh omni directional microphone from sure I'm going to stick it in the camera for you because for some reason I just like doing that. Seems to be a lot of handling noise there, so I'm going to stick it back in the uh, holster, the little holster there. So this microphone typically runs about $120, $130. And I was able to pick this up off eBay for literally like 18 bucks. eBay has some great deals if you look. I mean, this thing, it's just a microphone that looks not like a recording or professional microphone. But sometimes you can take these long-handled some bitches and do some good work with them. And uh, for one, I think it sounds okay. I, I think for field work, the whole point of this microphone, which I'll show you the tip here is uh, to block out wind, to block out background noise, and the microphone is kind of, the capsule is kind of uh, level with the metal rim. So there's no ball with a lot of wind that can get through. Wind's going to have to come through top down, or not at all. I'll show you. So you got a, a flat top on there. So, you know, wind's not going to be able to get to this thing from the side very easily. And you got the long handle that you can be like, your turn to talk. Go ahead. Talk at me. Talk, 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 talk at me. Come on. Let's do it. So, the Sure, you can pick it up for 18 bucks. Let's do a plosives test, even though I'm basically doing one now. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled peppers. Not crazy on the plosives, which it's not supposed to be. So, not the greatest uh, handling of the plosives, but you know, pretty, pretty decent, which it needs to be because you hand that mic over to someone else and they can be like, blah, 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 blah. that sucks. Proximity effect on this. If you get right up on the microphone, this is how the Sure VP 64 a will sound. Right? Right. This is going to be a quick video because there's not a whole lot of excitement about a mic like this, but I bought it and I wanted to see what it was like and I wanted you to see what it was like. And I think with the proximity effect, sounds pretty decent, but as soon as you back off of it, it really loses quite a bit. It's meant to stick right in your face and talk into. So, I'll just go Stone Temple Pilots again. Why not? Time to take her home. Her e dizzy. I think it's dizzy. Her dizzy head is something. I don't know. I give up. Anyways, this is the Sure VP 64A. Out of focus. That this not meant to be a long video. I just wanted to show it to you, let you hear it, and let you know that it's great for outdoor applications. But as far as podcasting and stuff, I probably wouldn't use it for much more than that. But if you were at a place, an expo, or a, I don't know, you want to catch some party people talking party stuff? Eh, I I don't know. There's uses for it. It's cheap. Uh, there is worse out there. Like if you want to start a podcast, it'll be passable. But I mean, an XM8500 from Behringer would probably be the better way to go. So this microphone, if you like it, go grab it. You can get it cheap. Obscure mics. Peace. Out. Out. <laughs>